Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Ticket. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to set a custom ringtone or any music file for a contact that is saved in your phone. Now, this is going to be a very simple video. I had a couple people ask me this question the last couple weeks, so I thought I'd make a video about it because it looks like there's people that actually don't know how to do this. And it is, in fact, a great little trick to customize your phone. So let's get started. So all you want to do, it's going to be a very simple setup is you're going to go to your phone, okay, and then you can go to your contacts. You can pick up any contact that you want for whom you want to set up a custom ringtone. So in my case, I'm going to use a test contact right over here. I'm going to tap on it, okay, and then I'm going to tap on the I. That means information, and then simply tap on edit right over here, and then tap on view more, okay. Once you do that, you want to go all the way down, and then you want to go to ringtone, you tap over here. What's going to happen is when you first tap on the ringtone, it's just going to give you the basic built-in ringtones in the actual smartphone. So you can pick any one of these uh, ringtones and assign it to that particular contact. So, one, so when that contact calls you, you hear that ringtone only and you can identify that contact. So I can pick any one of these guys. as you can see, okay? Now once I pick it, it's gonna show up right here. Now what if you want to use an actual tone from a music or any other sound clip that you have downloaded to your phone? That's also very easy. All you do is click the plus, okay? Now when you click this plus icon, it's gonna take you to the sound picker. From here, I have access to all my music, okay? I can go to my albums, I can go to my artists, I can go to my folders, whatever that you want to do. I will let you know one thing. When you go over here, when you're in here under ringtones and click plus for the first time, it might give you a bunch of options to pick from before you come to this screen. All you want to do is click the sound picker. So from here, let me just go to my albums here. As an example, I'm just going to go to brand music for Samsung and I can select this guy. When I select it, it actually plays that song a little bit to preview uh, which song is playing. That's going to be assigned to the contact. One that, once that's done, you tap on done. And now, as you can see, the name of that ringtone or music file is assigned to the top right here. At any time, you can just tap on plus and change it and pick something else uh, that you desire. Now, let's go back over here and tap on save. Make sure you click on save so it gets actually saved and you see it right here. And that's it, okay? And because the video is very short, let me just add one more quick tip in here in case you did not know about it. Uh, it's something I use, and I'll tell you why I do. So go to your uh, phone, just launch your phone, doesn't matter where you are, keypad, contacts, tap this guy right here, and go into the settings. And then go to call uh, alerts and ringtones, okay? Uh, what, what's gonna happen is these two options on the top are by default disabled. What I like to do is I like to enable them. So when you take a call, when you answer a call, or when you end a call, you get a nice little vibrational feedback. The reason I like to have this is sometimes I'm talking to somebody on the phone and I forget to click the end button, or I click it and I click the wrong place, so the phone call doesn't actually end and I continue talking about it, and then that person on the other end can hear what I, what I say before the call actually disconnects. This is a mistake that happens often. Now, when you have this enabled, when you press end at the end of a phone call, the phone actually vibrates, gives you a feedback to let you know that it's over. Meaning if you don't feel that vibration, you can be sure that the call is still in fact connected, okay? So just enable these two, doesn't cost a lot of battery life. It's something I use, so I just wanna uh, share it with you guys as well. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?